What's going on world? It's another episode of Sneak Peek there on your screen. Well, not just any episode, but the most diverse sneak peek we've seen so far. As always, I'm your host, George Kill. Glad you're tuned in. After trekking to the Bay Area to see Finals MVP Andre Iguodala's LED lit closet in our season opening episode, we find ourselves in ATL at the doorstep of broadcast personality, the current host of Atlanta's V103, and world-renowned sneakerhead DJ Greg Street. Now, Street takes pride in collecting not just Jordans, Adidas, or Nikes, but practically a little bit of everything. So sit back, relax, and enjoy part one of a sneak peek inside DJ Greg Street's sneaker room. All right, well, we kicked off season seven in the Bay Area with Andre Iguodala. Now we find ourselves in the Southeast with my man DJ Greg Street. What's going on, man? You already know, man. Sneak peek is in the eight. Yeah, we here now. George Kell is in the eight. <laughs> hey, look, we tried to do it last time. It was a whole lot of footage, but it was unexperienced cameraman. You know, sometimes just because you're a good cameraman or you're a good video person don't mean you can video everything. You got to know something about the subject. Right, right, right. So you can shoot the angles and make sure you get the right content in there. But we're going to make sure we get it right today. Yeah, I brought my boy Sid this time. Take two. We got let's Sid in the building. Yeah, let's do it. Stuff gets so crazy, George. Now, in order to take stuff upstairs, I got to take stuff from upstairs and get it out. So this is like some stuff that's coming. Some unions. Shell toe anniversaries. There's some superstars. This is a little light work. Adidas Monster Pack with the Superstar iPhone case, headphones, watch, another band, Bluetooth speaker, and then just stuff that you run into every now and then. Got lucky on Flight Club and got another pair of these. True to your school, our SB. Something real special is gonna be in this box though. Me and the boy Dank and Dank Customs working on that Ciroc Boys Greg Street special that you're gonna see real soon. I'm working with a company that's gonna be making custom sneaker boxes. If you want your own custom sneaker box, they'll make it for you. So they made this one for me for the Ciroc shoe. And Greg, I'm already seeing something that we usually don't see in sneak peeks. You collect all brands. Oh yeah. Why is it? It's not just a brand thing, it's what you like. You just can't say, I like all Jordans. I like all Converse. I like all Adidas. I like some Converse, I like some Adidas, I like some Jordans, I like some New Balance. There goes some Etonics right there. So to the boy Willie Esco, Asics. It just depends. It just depends on what you see. You know what I'm saying? Vans, Adidas, New Balance, just everything. Puma, Reebok, you never know. This is a room full of clothes where all the clothes go to charity. So they come up here, then they go into the plastic bins, then they go out to the community for people in need. I'm gonna do some Adidas first. Let me see what's in here. The Wish Collab, SL Loop. The whole tissue paper was like a big $2 bill. Fourth of July last year. What's up to the boy Frank? Everybody wish on Moreland Avenue and ATL. A couple pair of those. It's from the little Def Jam pack. This is the Young Jeezy. Got the boy Young Jeezy on the tongue. With the logo. They had a cool little Def Jam pack. The Def Jam with the original colors. The beater pair. The Everyday All Days. House of Pain. St. Patrick's Day DS. There's another one from the Def Jam pack. The Pearl Top 10 anniversary, 1979, 2009. Everybody be talking about the Vibe Air Force One. This is the Vibe Adidas. I don't think I showed you the black one. That's the black Def Jam anniversary. That's the Young Jeezy Low. These actually went to the outlets. I've actually seen these in the outlets. This was a special little pack. The ones with the diamond laces. 60 years of souls. What else we got in the Adidas pack? In the Adidas wall. Kobe Bryant before the case. Derrick Rose. Shell Toe. I'm gonna come a pair of two chains. It's a friends and family two chain. Okay, well, autograph pair of sneaker friends. Big Sean. That's another pair. That's the second. The red one was first. Sean Dunn, the homie, he autographed it, wrote a little something. Me and Sean go back before his Def Jam days. When he was out here in the streets, just trying to get it popping. There's a lot of dope Adidas up here. All these from that consortium pack. That's the Bad Boy. That's the Rock Boys. They had a whole little music series. Bad Boy. That's a Foot Patrol. Oh, that's the d -Mark. There's the run. No, that's the Rockefeller. 
That's the Union. Well, they got the new ones out now, but these are the first consortium. It's undefeated. I think my favorite one from that pack, though, was the Run DMC was a favorite, but this, I think one of the most underrated from the pack was this Underworld. Even the bottom is sick. It's the neighborhood. You know, Adidas always comes out with these collections and groups of shoes. What's been your most memorable one? Probably the, the Ape Skate. This is the, the 1 of 100 Black. Then that was a 1 of 100 Snake. And then the rest of them were 500s. This is the Snake that was a 1 of 500. I don't have the 1 of 100 one. I think Dallas Austin is the only person I know that actually have it, has it or had it. There's a Run DMC. I got the Jam Master J up here somewhere too. That's the white one, the white suede, or the tan, off-white suede. And of course, they came back with the other ones, the remix. This is probably everybody's favorite, though, the camo. The first re-release from before the ones that just came out with were undefeated. Outside the Apes Gate, this is probably one of my favorite ones, too. The Neighborhood Berlin Gazelle. And then you had the white leather. This is like one of the most premium leathers ever on the shoe. You really got to see them in person. You got to feel that shot. This is the Jam Master J with the letter. This is also one of my favorite ones. I got a pair of these I wore to death. This shoe, is, I think, is super underrated. The match play Jim Thompson. Jam Master J actually gave me this shoe at the sports shoe on Memorial Drive. There's the picture. I think these are those just for kicks. Yep. If you remember that, that documentary, they had the shoe to go with it. That's an all leather shoe, the whole shoe is leather, the bottom and everything. Got the Chris Robinson up here, the robot films. Man, this, so many Adidas kicks up here. Some people probably forgot about this one. They come with the frog. Had the, the dope track jacket. The neighborhood, undefeated micro pacer. And shoot, I know in your younger days, you spent a lot of time in Dallas. Oh yeah, it's the Dallas Maverick. A lot of time in Dallas. I was there for a couple Super Bowls. Of course, I won all the rings on the radio. This is probably one of my favorite ones that just came out recently. This neighborhood had a suede, and there was a black one. I got the black one, too. This black label one was through there. had a shirt to go to this that I saw online that was bananas. Guess we can go through some New Balance. Um, it's a DJ Mars New Balance collab that came out exclus exclusively in Atlanta at Walters. That was one of them, then it was a a green and black and orange. Only a few pair of those. So if you see a pair, you better get them. This is the first burn rubber New Balance with the letter. They personally wrote these letters. They put your name on these. This is how Rick used to do it. You can't get Rick on the phone now. This is how he used to do it. Detroit, I'm still burn rubber for life. That was another dope shoe. Colette, the Colette Grail. Street, which retailer do what you think does the best uh, collaborative design? Undefeated does a lot of nice ones. Ronnie's doing a lot of nice ones right now. Soulbox, they was killing it with these New Balance, with the Purple Devil series. This is actually a pair I wear. There's another pair up there. It's 576 Purple Devil, 1500 DS. It's almost like who you are and how they feel about how they want to deal with you, how far they want to let you go. It's basically like how that goes. There's some um, undefeated. The toothpaste pack was a dope pack. Then we got the Soul Box toothbrush. If you could collaborate with a brand and a uh, and a retailer, what would it be? I don't know. That's a good question. That's a that's a very sought after concept family. I like to do a dump. I like the, the Barney's go in the dark. I like most of the simple stuff for me personally. Maybe like a Converse, Brooklyn Bridge. It's crazy how they almost like just remade this shoe. This is what good collaborations will get you from a brand. Got him! <laughs> Got it. When you see the, the Yeezys, and then you see all the other different shoes in the same colorway, or like the Clark Kent 112, all the different colorways, all the other different shoes. So, you know, I try to really just stay like a fan of the sneakers and just like the sneakers for what they are. 
rather than wanting to have my own shoe. The brand's not gonna let you make no money from it, so, you know, I'm not tripping on trying to um, go around and get people to send me free shoes. For me, it's not worth the extra effort it takes to go through all the BS. This was a dope pack from New Balance. Like the fish bowl. You're not gonna believe why I bought these shoes. In Dallas, Texas. Remember Passport Exhibit Gallery? That was a dope store. The receipt book was like a little passport. This is a classic. I hate I got rid of the gray suede, $7.95. Nobody's gonna pull these out. Nobody's gonna pull these out. You talking about blazers? The 99 blazers are the best ones. I'm still trying to find this one in purple. I got this one. I got the olive one and the leather gray. The Futura version. But these are like one of my favorite shoes. If I was gonna do a Nike, this would probably be the shoe I would do. This something's gonna be kind of dope if they would put it out. This is the Atonic Kuja collab. This would probably be Notorious Big shoe if he was alive. He was a Kuji king. George say he wants to see some blazers, some beautiful losers, red ones. This is another pair, this is the actual sample. That's the black one. I do have pairs of these that I wear too. These, all these are DS. This is the DS Zoo York blazer. So like you can really tell the, the real ones when you see the toe box like that. It's another pair. I got a pair of these I wear too. But that's two DS just in case. Here's a pair of the gray ones I was telling you about, like the ones down there. This one, it's dope. This one then had a classic toe, but that nylon was something that was kind of fresh that came out. They call this olive, but it really looks great to me. That's the one I was talking about. Just something about that, that extra piece on the toe. They need to retro that. Retro the OG blazer, the Stussy tennis ball. Then they had the Lowe's. Atlanta All-Star Weekend. Little tearaway action. I mean, we can go on and on and on for days. Some Air Max, I know you remember those. San Francisco anniversary. People always hit me on, DM me on IG or Twitter about buying this whole collection right here. These actually came from Standard on Peachtree when they were just sitting in the store. People didn't know what they were. Started it all. I actually had a chance to get the friends and family and never got them like a dummy. Procrastination is a thief of time. I actually got a hotel, a couple pair of these. Got a pair that I wear. These actually sat in the stores. That's a DS pair of uh, Palmers. Powder sent me these, see? Thanks for the love and support. I wore their t-shirt in the Saha video, in the Stutter video. These actually came from Powder. My dog Mayor got me these from Mercer. The purple denim and the green denim has, has surprisingly gone crazy also over the past few years. But that's like the whole little pack. I actually had the, the privilege of doing, being a part of when Nike ID first launched. This is the official, original Nike ID t-shirt. They even put my name on it. And this was the shoe. The first Nike ID when they first launched the site. It had to be 97 maybe, 97, 98. And speaking of IDs, I see a whole row of IDs here. Yeah, actually one of my IDs went viral. Went real viral. But this whole row right here are soul collectors. These are all the soul collectors. Some of them are two pair. Like this is one. This is, I think, from the Florida event. Alligator. Alligator tongue. The pink switch symbolizes. The blue, this from the New York event. It's the 95, 175, or 300. Got a couple pair of those. A couple pair of the Cowboys, one, a lot of people. This one in the last Vegas one, I think. Probably like the most popular. 145 out of 400. I actually went to the Vegas event. That was the event I actually went to. This is an ID. I created an session with Clark. This is crazy right here. My homeboy Avery from Walters actually made this. You'll never be able to get another pair of these because now Nike ID realized what we did. We put Harley Davidson on a pair of Bo Jacksons. I think after I posted it, Harley probably had a fit. And now you can't put that on the back anymore. You make it, try it. 
See if you can get away with it or catch me riding with them on. This is not an ID, but this is DSS. Carter. Gucci! Got three pair of those. DS and a couple pair that I've worn. That's another ID. We made just some just messing around. I made these in LA during BET Awards one weekend. I mean the boy Steve Bartles from Def Jam. This shoe actually came from Soul Monkey. Stuart store used to be downtown Atlanta. You got all kind of sick stuff up here. These have gone super crazy online. Tongue and cheek. What's up to the boy Dizzy? It's the 180. With that doodle -doo on the tongue. The little special friends and family package version of it. Everybody just went crazy over those ones. It's a 94 retro with all the stats on the tissue. The big retro card, DS, size 10. This is a grail for a lot of people. I had, I actually had three pair of these. N-E-R-D, Wu-Tang. So is it this like your music wall right here? No, not really, it's just mixed up. You know what that is? Self-explanatory. It's all kinds of stuff over there.